Some gadgets have these kind of triggering things, like start timer is just, you send it um, a signal and it starts it, and even if you stop sending the signal it carries on, or reset, and things like that. So, but when does that actually trigger? When it goes from um, negative, uh, non-positive, so even if it's negative, or zero, then it won't uh, trigger it, but then you go to positive, and it starts, it triggers that thing. And if we pause there and plug it into the reset, then when it goes to a positive number, from a uh, non-positive to a positive number, doesn't care if you keep going up and down over here, just cares about that there. That's like a triggering um, thing that can trigger stuff. Uh, signal manipulator is very useful for looking at this kind of stuff because it has a graph. So um, a switch, this is the input, this is, you can ignore the output, this is the input that we're getting from this switch. So we're getting 1 and then now we're getting 0. But if we first put it through here to turn it into a pulse, then like this then it goes from uh, goes to 1 and then 0 the next frame so this uh, means the signal goes is 1 for 1 frame and then 0 the rest of the time that is useful because if you have um, many sources and you just plug them all into the same place then if you try and reset it again send that trigger again it won't happen until all of them are off so that it, it becomes a non-positive value and then one of them turns on to become a positive value. So if, if instead uh, all of these were pulses by doing that then uh, whenever one of them goes on then it's going to send another pulse and then stay at zero so all, these are sending zero as you can see in the output side of the bar um, but these can stay on and the other ones can still reset just fine so that's um, a big reason why you'd want to pulse things because a lot of, a lot of inputs like this are triggers as opposed to like sending it a signal. I'd like to thank Cole Witzer, DeadMC, RevPlayer and all of my other supporters for making this tutorial possible. Thanks for watching. If you'd like me to continue making these tutorials and helping creators across the internet, you can find out how to support me in the link in the description. Thanks for your consideration and I'll see you in the next one.